the Ukraine will go in lane two. So the world champion and European champion, Natalia Kobza, in lane five. Missed out on a medal in the 200 metres. Twenty seventeen bronze medalist Yang Fen Fen. The women's four hundred meters T thirty seven is underway and really getting out to a flyer was the Chinese athlete Yang Fen Fen. She's blasted around the opening one hundred meters or so. But Natalia Kobza is looking very strong indeed. And next to her, Cheryl James of South Africa is keeping pace as well. Yang Fen Fen has decided that she has to go out early from lane seven if she wants to try and get the victory in this women's 400 metres T37 final. Kobza is rounding the bend now with around 150 metres to go. So as the stagger straightens up, it'll be Kobza of the Ukraine who more than likely will move into the lead alongside Yang Fen Fen. So it's Ukraine and China battling it out with South Africa in the middle. Yang Fen Fen currently leads. Kobza is trying to push home. Yang Fen Fen, she's really working hard there, but it's Natalia Kobza of the Ukraine who's coming on the inside. Yang has got it at the moment. Can she hold on? Kobza trying to get to her. Yang Fen Fen takes it. Kobza is second, and it's Cheryl James of South Africa who picks up a bronze medal to add to her bronze back in the world in 2019. So China win it through Yang Fen Fen. She was fourth in 2016, missing out on the medal. She's gone for the Chinese flag straight away. Disappointment for Kobza, but elation for Yang Fen Fen of China. A new Asian record of 101.36. Kobza has come up with a new lifetime best for her, and Cheryl James, a lifetime best for her, the South African, in third place as well. Well, Yang is thrilled. Kobza looked less so. She has a silver medal. She thought she had a great opportunity to become the world European and Paralympic champion, but that lady there, Yang Fen Fen, held her off. Season best and lifetime best pretty much the whole way across the board. Well, the rain did ease for the moment of this final and it allowed these athletes to produce world-class, record-breaking times. You can see how the muscles are just starting to tie up here for Yang Fen Fen and Kobsa and the discomfort, the pushing through at those final few strides. Jiang able to find just a little bit more and Kobsa's stride shortening as the line just would feel like it's taking forever for them to reach. Jiang holding on, pushing through. And you can see the grimace, the determination, the effort to reach that line. Well, this is the coordination impairment category. The T37 is the second least of the coordination impairment as far as 38 being the least impaired. The Kobza, well, she looked strong. Yang actually looked like she was in all sorts of trouble at that point, but Kobza just couldn't make up that last few metres and tightened up slightly, as did Yang Fen Fen. The lactic acid burning, affecting the spasticity in the body. Cheryl James had dropped off by that point, but Yang holds on and picks up a Paralympic gold and China will be at the top of the podium again. Three season bests and four lifetime bests in that. And Slava of the Russian Paralympic Committee disqualified.